Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the control board shield in your GE washer, you will need a drill driver with a quarter inch bit and needle nose pliers. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the power to the appliance. Unthread the two screws on the panel. Any missing screws can be ordered through the links in the description below. Pull the panel out from the bottom and slide it to the right to free it from the backsplash. Slide the backsplash back and tilt forward. Loosen the screw closest to the peg that is holding the shield in place. Squeeze the peg and lift it out to remove the shield. Note how the shield is placed in the backsplash and peel it off. To install the new control board shield, peel the backing to reveal the adhesive. Align the holes of the shield and control board. Press on the shield to stick it to the backsplash. Then snap the peg back in place. Rethread the screw. Tilt the backsplash upright and insert the tabs into the slots. Push forward to lock it in place. Insert the panel tabs into the slots on the backsplash, then slide it left to secure it. Rethread the two screws. Plug in the washer.